happy I shake it, and this is Cooking Contaminated, where I take the dishes and recipes of some of my best friends in metal, and I add a little hellacious twist of my own. Welcome everybody to Cooking Contaminated. I'm here right now with my two good buddies and brothers, JJ and Mike or Bob Check. Uh, both JJ and Mike are uh, Slovak pole mixes, so what else would they bring here but a recipe for handmade pierogies. Um, yeah, you know, that's what they're gonna Ooh, make. Geez. Who what else would Polish pierogies. dudes make and bring to my kitchen? Exactly. Um, but So we're gonna serve the pierogies, but we're gonna serve them with and contaminate it with a sour cream and bacon with chive topping that I'm gonna make, and we're gonna put that on the- uh, Sounds great, party, Eli. And we're gonna rock it out. Right, so are you guys it. stoked to do this? Yeah. Right, yeah. Awesome. So Get the pierogies rolling. We're gonna start the pierogi topping first so we can put that in the refrigerator, and uh, first thing we're gonna need to do is actually make some bacon. So Mike, why don't you sure. go ahead and start some bacon over there Will do. while JJ and we'll I uh, bacon, mix up yeah. the chives and green onions. Let's start off this topping for our pierogies. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dice two green onion and about a tablespoon or so of chives. Um, while I do that, JJ, you have been doing a lot of work with uh, Hate Eternal. What, yeah. What's been going on with that so far? Well, it's... Uh... We're doing actually a lot of pre-production as far as uh, you know, uh, getting a feel for the new songs. A lot of the new songs are partially written, or most of the way written, and the uh, pre-production is going great. The drums sound great. The the stuff is actually totally. It's not completely different, but it's very different than a lot of the other records, and uh, you know, it still has a lot of the brutality. But the brutality is even more extreme. The brutality is even more brutal. Exactly. Than awesome. Well, cool. Well, what we're going to do then is, uh, now that I chopped this up, we're going to go ahead and scoop in a cup of sour cream uh, in this bowl. So can you scoop that out there while I finish yeah, dicing sure. up this? Excellent. Sure. Scoop that in there, and we're going to dice this up real fine while I spill it all over the place. Bing. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put all of this in there. Yeah. Huh. There you go. That works. And you want to go ahead and start mixing that up there, JJ? Yeah, sure. Fantastic. Sure. All right. Hey, guys. Bacon's done. Killer. What should I do with all this uh, leftover bacon grease? Well, it's funny that you say that. Go ahead and throw that in there uh, right now. But um, all right, all right. actually, JJ, uh, mix that up a little bit. You know all what? Right, I'll right. take that because I need you to do something for me. Uh -oh. uh, I need you to go ahead and... Peel and chop uh, some potatoes, about three. I need you to chop and peel this onion, and I need you to shred about two cups of cheese out of that. Dude, what do you want me to shine your shoes for you too? Well, you can shine my dick. Why don't you go do yeah. that for me real quick, all right? Yeah, Give me the rest yeah, yeah. of this bacon. Okay, so let's mix this up here very nicely. Mix that all up real good, and then we're just gonna throw it in the fridge. And this can stay, you know, for however long you want to keep it in there because it's going to take a little bit to make our pierogies. And that's what he's working on right now. Making the filling for our killer, kind of Polish pierogies. Polish power pierogies. Polish-ish pierogies. Well, let me go ahead. This looks fan. Smells good. It smells bacony. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the refrigerator. But first, we're going to go ahead and... We're gonna go ahead and Hot put sauce, a dash of everything. Tabasco here for you in there. Oh, about two, three, four dashes. And give it some nice little flavor here as well. Wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this in the fridge. Well, now that we have JJ mixing our ingredients for our stuffing for our pierogies, well, we have to make the dough for the pierogies. So this is how we're gonna go ahead and make it. We have a cup of flour, 
This is going to make about a half dozen good sized pierogies. Sure. If you need more, you can go ahead and double the recipe up. So we're going to start with a cup of flour here. Make a little nice little uh, well for that flour. We're going to crack one egg. Crack the egg. Put that right in the middle there. Oh, de gloire. Oh, two eggs. A uh, pinch of salt in there as well. And you're going to need a little bit of oil. About two tablespoons of olive oil. Perfect. And now all we're going to do is we're just going to do it with our hands. So while I'm mixing this up, man, uh, I know you've been busy as hell with uh, yeah, some monstrosity stuff. What's uh, what's going on in your neck of the woods? Uh, well, coming up soon, we got a uh, quick tour in Mexico coming up in about two weeks. Actually, got to get ready for that, and then uh, we're going to South America in August. Excellent. So you've been doing some stuff too, uh, as I hear, with your artwork as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, actually, uh, my artwork uh, from visualdarkness.com has been used in a uh, Universal Pictures movie coming out uh, actually next year, 2011, as a, a background set dress for uh, this movie called Dream House, which has the old actor from, uh, last actor from, uh, what's it called, James Bond, Daniel Craig, I think it is. Oh, killer. So it should be pretty cool. See, nice. you know, artwork in the background, probably some metal, uh, just some metal couple that has an apartment that has posters, death metal posters lining the uh, background. So, should be pretty cool. Look for it. Dream House 2011. But uh, we're going to go ahead and roll it out with my very special roller, Mr. Wine Bottle. Mr. Wine Bottle is uh, not a traditional roller in any sense, but uh, we go ahead and we use it. Uh, quite frequently because you know what I don't need to buy a roller when I drink a lot of wine it's all as long as it gets the job done absolutely so let's go ahead and we'll roll this out JJ how you making out over there with that stuff buddy not too bad yeah almost done all right you're taking a long time hey <laughs> all right if it gets too sticky feel free to add a little flour to your rolling pin or your wine bottle uh, you know whatever you're using right now all right uh, my man I'm done everything did you mix all of them together, all the ingredients together? No. Yeah, so we need you to go ahead and back and do that. Well, regardless, while he's mixing our ingredients together, uh, Mike, I know that uh, both you guys uh, have a heritage uh, in the uh, Slovak, Polish uh, era. What kind of stuff did your grandmother and uh, whatnot put in their pierogies back in the day? Well, she make a big variety of like all different kinds. You can make pierogies with you know normal mashed potatoes and sauerkraut. Put in uh, jalapeno peppers or even, you know, uh, what else did she put? Shit. She, well, she used to dye them. Oh, prunes. Yeah, prunes. prunes. <laughs> Wait, she used to dye them? What does that mean? Well, she used to dye them because uh, the, uh, you know, we'd have so many of them that you'd have to dye the jalapeno green, you'd have to dye the prune uh, purple, or whatever. So we knew which one was which. That would not even be though we got purple. confused sometimes and ate the jalapeno when it was just like the yeah. dog was sauerkraut. Is that good you enough know. for you or what? You know what? This <clears throat> looks fantastic. Okay. We got the cheese, we got the onion, and we got the potato in there. And this is exactly what we're going to fill uh, into our uh, pierogi. Here's what we're going to do. We put out our pierogi mixture up in there. <coughs> I have a little bit of egg to put onto one end of the pierogi because we're going to have to let it stick. So we're going to go ahead and brush this end of the pierogi here with some egg. All right, do a little with the spatula to get this up, and then we're going to fold it over. Now that we have these, we need to cut them out. And we're going to use we need to use a regular old pint glass, and we're going to go ahead and boop. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in a pot of boiling water. And these guys are going to sit down because as soon as I boil them, I'm going to throw them in the pan, saute them for a hot second, and then dinner is served. All right, we're going to get these last two out of here, and we're going to go ahead and pan fry them until they're golden brown on each side in some hot panage right here. And they can go right on the pan. All right, so I have my dip that we made earlier and I'm ready to plate the rest of my pierogi, and these are killer, and these guys are ready to eat. Let's go ahead and just get the last two, make it look pretty. 
for these guys. Oh, that looks good. That's great. They're ready to eat. All right, gentlemen, all right. So, here we have it, our homemade pierogi and sour cream and bacon topping. This is probably going to be hellaciously awesome, and we're going to enjoy this meal with a flying fish ESB amber. Why are we using the ESB amber? Well, I think the sweetness is gonna act very well with the smokiness, the bacon, and the topping, and with all that cheese and cream, we're gonna need something with enough bite and enough alcohol to cut through that. So. Guys, uh, before we start, thank you Astrovia. for coming out. Astrovia! 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 And remember, you don't have to be a great cook to contaminate your cooking.